I like that sound effect. Once upon a time, there was a dear little girl who was loved by everyone who looked at her. Come, little Red Riding Hood, said the mother. Your grandmother is ill and weak. Here is some cake and wine. Take these to her. Now listen to me. While you're walking, do not stray from the path. Do not dwaddle along the way. And do not talk to strangers. Of course, Mama! Thank you. Please remember my advice and be safe. And so little Red Riding Hood left her home and entered the woods. And I don't know why her house looks like a giant with a nose and two eyes. After following the winding path to the grandmother house for some time, she came upon a patch of flowers. Oh, flowers! Grandma would like it if I made her a bouquet. Should I stop here a while and pick some for her? Yes, she did. Little Red Riding Hood sat and started picking flowers to give to her grandmother. How pretty! Grandma will be so happy! Russell, Russell. Little girl, I'd suggest you get on your way. There's a wolf that prowls these woods, and it eats little girls like you. I don't mean the good way. Not there's a good way that eating low. You know what? Never mind. If you do happen to see the wolf, run and shout for help. I'll come and save you. Little Red Riding Hood said nothing and wheeled away from the figure in the woods made of the flower, most of the flowers falling from her basket in her haste. She hurried down the path, searching the shadows for a snarling wolf or the stranger lurking in the trees. She walked and walked until she came upon a dark and hulking creature so it so huge it blocked the whole way forward. It was the Sif, I mean the wolf, the stranger had warned her about. Mmm, good day little Red Riding Hood. I don't know why I know your name, but apparently I do. Speak with the wolf, say nothing, run. What should I do? This person said I should run. Hello, Mr. Wolf. Bear you off so early, little Red Riding Hood. To my grandmother's house. What have you got in your basket there? Cake and wine and flowers. I'm okay, I'm sorry. What are you serenading your grandmother? She's sick, this will make her stronger. And where does your grandmother live? Just a little further down the path. She lives in a cottage at the edge of the woods. Bitch, are you for real? The wolf didn't even ask you for directions! Why are you giving him everything? Ah yes, I know. Oh no, I must be late by now. Excuse me, Mr. Wolf, may I pass by? <laughs> of course, my dear. Safe travels. The wolf moved to allow Little Red Riding Hood to pass, and she continued on towards her grandmother's house. And this is the time she realized what an idiot she was and what a huge mistake she made this And when she glanced back, the wolf had disappeared into the woods. She came to her grandmother's house a few minutes later. And she was surprised to find that the door was standing wide open. Grandmother? There was no response. Hello, may I come in? Still hearing nothing, she entered the house and went to her grandmother's bed. Grandmother, are you alright? I'm fine, my dear! Are you sure you're alright, Grandmother? Because Grandmother, what big... Oh, sorry, I... I don't mean breasts. What big ears you have. All the better to hear you with, my dear. But Grandmother, what big eyes you have. The better to see you with, my child. But Grandmother, what a terrible big mouth you have. Ow. The bear to eat you with! And the wolf swallowed up the little red riding hood in a single gulp. Little red riding hood and her grandmother were such a feast for the wolf that he lay back down in the bed and fell asleep. After a few minutes, the door swung open. I have long sought you, wolf. Bang, bang. Boom, boom. At last. I don't see the girl or the old woman. Has he devoured them already? Well, snip, snip. And the huntsman snipped away the wolf's belly until Red Riding Hood and her grandmother emerged, shivering with fear. Eh! <laughs> Normal end. Saved. Okay, what you guys are crying about? Bitch, this is all your fault, okay? You made the big problem. Yeah, return to title. Man, if I, could, I wish like should just get eaten multiple times, honestly. You should deserve it. Pick flowers? Yes. Say nothing. Nothing to say, child. 
Sorry, I really have to get on my way. Why are you often in such a hurry, my dear? I'm visiting someone. And where does this someone live? Um, well... Uh, snap, huh? I have long enough sought you, wolf. Arr. The wolf leapt into the woods to chase the source of the unknown voice. Like shaking with fear, little red riding hood ran as fast as she could to get to her grandmother's cottage. My dear, how kind of you to visit. <sighs> uh, you're right, my child. The wolf. I met him on the path. He chased someone into the woods. Just then, they heard shots ring out in the distance. That must be... My slight piece, I mean child, let's get you inside. Oh, good ending. Save. Oh, well, okay, so are we trapped inside the house now forever? With the door locked, we can't leave? Is this a situation of the walking dead or the walking idiot, huh? Which one? Pick up flowers. And then run. Little Red Riding Hood turned and ran into the trees. Somewhere behind her, the wolf howled with rage. She ran and ran until she heard what sounded like a gunshot in the distance. Has that stranger I met subdued the wolf? Suddenly, the stranger reappeared out of the darkness. Ha! Huh, ha! Huh. A wolf was chasing you, yes, little girl? I was able to shoot him just once, but don't be enough to put him down. He's blinded with rage now. I might not be able to catch him again. But maybe he'd go for the little defenseless child all alone in the woods. Hey, <laughs> don't you think so, little Red Riding Hood? Huh? Please don't! He tied her tightly to a tree with a rope. She struggled futilely, screaming for someone to help. Silly girl, only the wolf will hear you. The stranger disappeared, and the wolf approached. The wolf howled, she could tell he was mere feet away. Oh, you're doing the rrrr for me, thank you, wolf. Crunch! Oh, thank you for the crunch sound effect, sorry for crunching over you. There was a bang. And the wolf toppled to the ground. Well, little Red Riding Hood, at least your death was not in vain. Bad end. Dot dot dot, sorry dots. Well, you know, it's her fault. She shouldn't have picked up flowers. Pick flowers? No. I guess I could pick some with Mama later. Use her as bait. And so she continued down the path and did not dwaddle any further along the way. She walked and walked until she came upon a dark and hulking creature so huge it blocked the whole way forward. Good day, little Red Riding Hood. What should I do? Wait, does this mean picking up flowers means nothing? Hey, you lied to me! Hey, you lied to me. Hey, you lied to me. Oh, you lied to me. Uh, is that the ending? Seriously? If you get the flowers or you don't, it doesn't matter the ending? Yeah, there is only three endings. Oh, sorry, my bad. Only this changes. You either run with flowers or you don't. Sorry, one text of line changes. <laughs> uh, so it's just like Telltale Games. They will remember, but they technically won't remember anything. Well, thank you, Red Riding... <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> Little Red Riding Hood was... How long was that game? That was a 10-minute game! It was 250 megabytes! Bitch, where did you get the 250 megabytes from? Is it the, is it the bang? It's the bang, isn't it? This! This one file was 200 megabytes all by itself! That's why it was so big and heavy! I better not get a single copy... Oh my god, you put in a music that is like two hours long? Gathering Darkness by Kevin McLeod. One hour. There's a song in the game that is one hour long. Now I've seen everything in my life. Perfect. Okay, if I remove... Let's say I remove 82 megabytes out of this. It's still too big. What are the, what are the images at? The images are... They're like a thousand pixel by a thousand pixel. They're not even HD and like, what? Why are you depressed, bitch? What's the difference between this and this? Uh, 
Uh, the company would like to would like you to find the difference between these two pictures. Well, G2G, thank you so much for Little Red Riding Hood. That is way too big for what you're offering, honestly. Sorry to say this. I mean, you only you literally have a one hour track. <laughs> what? I don't think people need one hour to read the line, you know? Just saying. Uh, okay. Wow, I'm burning through these games like there's no...